Hi, it's Shelly from Best Buy's Plug-In Blog, and this week we're testing out the KitchenAid ravioli attachment for the KitchenAid stand mixer. The KitchenAid ravioli maker um, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a ravioli maker. You push the pasta sheet through the ravioli maker. It's um, You manually crank it, and out comes ravioli. Um, so what I have to show you here is uh, how easy it is to set it up and then I'll press some ravioli. So I'm going to attach the ravioli maker. Um, the ravioli maker is actually one of the only KitchenAid stand mixer attachments that's manual. Most of them work with the uh, actual um, power controls on the stand mixer, um, but this has a manual crank. So I'm going to feed my pasta dough into it and uh, crank out some ravioli. Okay, so I have um, everything I need to make ravioli. This is the hopper. This is what fits on top of the ravioli attachment, and it's what you put the filling in. Um, this is a brush that you use for cleaning after, and this is a scoop that comes so that you can scoop your filling into the hopper. My sheet of pasta, I made uh, handmade pasta, so I've rolled it, and um, it's supposed to be approximately uh, 1 16th thick. So it, it's very thin. Um, if you had a pasta roller, you could probably get it a lot thinner, but this will do great for now. So to get started, you have to fold your sheet of pasta in half. And what you do is you feed it into the pasta machine. Okay, so I'm gonna feed it into the machine and I'm going to rotate it so that it catches a little bit. So then it takes the pasta into the machine and then you just drape your pasta across the outside of the machine and that's when you attach your hopper. Okay, so I'm going to put some of my filling into the hopper. You can use this to push it into the edges. You can use any kind of filling. Um, if you wanted to do a four cheese, three cheese, you can do that. You don't fill beyond the hopper, you just fill to the top. And now all you have to do is uh, start manually turning the ravioli press. And you have perfect little raviolis. And you just pull them apart. and you let them dry for about an hour before you cook them. Once you're done making ravioli, all you have to do is pop this off, and put your cap back on, and to clean it, um, this actually can't go in the dishwasher. You're gonna have to wash this with soapy water and use this brush. If you have any extra residue inside, you can just brush it off, um, give it a good rinse, make sure that it's clean, and then you can pack it up and use it another day. That's it for my test of the KitchenAid ravioli attachment for the KitchenAid stand mixer. You can read my full review on Best Buy's plug-in blog. Thanks for watching.